Good morning guys, hello and welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Hope you've been enjoying some of this summer sunshine and not melting too much. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you're all doing really well. Now this weekend I am hosting some friends. So for me it's Thursday today. I am awaiting delivery from Ocado. I think it's the first ever time I've ordered from Ocado, so I did get a discount, but I thought I'm gonna put in a bit of an order, get some picky bits, some bits for some salad options, and host my girlfriends on Saturday. There's four of us and a little baby. What else will I show you within today's video? Um, I don't know, just a vlog over a few days. Well, over a couple of days probably. Um, I have just done a little very, very super quick and easy five minute get ready with me this morning for channel members. If you saw that, you'll kind of see this makeup. But in terms of my hair, I haven't touched it. <laughs> it needs a wash probably tomorrow so that it'll be fresh on Saturday when my friends are here and nice and styled. Today is quite warm though, so I knew it was gonna be a hair up day anyway. Oh, I do also actually have a couple of homey updates because I want to, after the delivery has arrived and I've put the food bits away, I want to head over to, I'm not sure where yet, but somewhere to get some outdoor cushions because we're due to have our John Lewis chairs, our dining chairs for outside, delivered tomorrow. And we've also got another delivery ordering, ordering? <laughs> Another delivery arriving tomorrow for two chairs that we've bought for around the fire pit area. So I'll show you that as well and show you those once they arrive. They're from Rowan and Wren, which is a gorgeous homeware brand, by the way. I don't think I've ever shopped there before. And there were so many things on there that I could have bought. But I was, I was like, let me just test it with these two chairs for, for starters. And they're actually the same chairs that we had... Um, that we used during the stargazing and the outdoor kind of like cinema and when the football's on when we were in COS at that, that hotel, Oku. They come with these little kind of like, well they don't come with, you buy as an add-on, um, these little hessian head cushions if you want. And I know they used cushions on the chairs in COS as well. But yeah, my garden, I keep going on about it, it's very COS inspired. After we went there, I was so inspired by the, I wanna say interiors, the exteriors and all the materials that they use, the pots and you know, the olive trees, the urns, the stuck art, plastered walls, textured walls, and the little fire pit area and everything like that super inspired me whilst we're on holiday. So yeah, we've got those kind of homey deliveries as well tomorrow that I'll share with you, but I do need to pick up some outdoor cushions because I know the John Lewis chairs that are coming, went in store to try them um, just to make sure that I liked them. And they are lovely, but they did have cushions on every other chair from John Lewis when they had them styled up in store. So I'm thinking of doing the same. That's the plan for today. So I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you're and ready for a nice cozy drink or iced drink. And yeah, I just hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog. So today I'm going very comfortable with this dress. It's just a simple lightweight knit dress with a little slit on either side. This is from TK Maxx. I bought it a while ago. I actually got the same dress in, where is it? Is it in here? Yeah, in this colour, which is just like, a, look, you can see the label's still on. I kind of forgot I had them, to be honest with you, but I thought I would wear the dark green one today, and then we've got the nice kind of beige one. I might even wear that on Saturday, that one. Just because when it is warm, I just like loose and comfortable, floaty, and this is exactly that. I'm pretty sure I remember these dresses being really affordable as well. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled in TK Maxx. I think they've still got some of the yellow label sales on. So maybe we'll head to Home Sense and TK Maxx for finding some outdoor cushions. I'm torn, torn between Home Sense, John Lewis again, um, both of which I could take Barney because I do want to take him with me as a bit of a additional outing for the day so that I don't walk him later on this afternoon because it's just going to get too hot for him. And am I, am I getting cushions or am I getting specific outdoor cushions that are wipeable? Because if I get them, then I won't be able to use them inside because they're kind of like a waterproof material, but they're also not waterproof enough. They're more water resistant, those kind of cushions, aren't they? So they're still not good to leave out all year round. So that's why I'm thinking 
swaying towards maybe just a standard cushion that's comfy that I use as my outdoor cushions but they can be brought in for winter and styled up on sofas, beds, stuff like that. Undecided, but anyway, you'll discover it with me. But I did also get this, this has just arrived. It's a very fancy PR package. I was so like, wow, what is this? I just need to hear out for the door. Cardo man is due any minute. I've just had a text to say that he is on his way. How cool is this? A little like acrylic case. Not sure what I could use this for. But inside from Bobby Brown, oops, we have some new. Oh gosh, it's all falling out. We've also included a pen that you can fill this out. I see blank in my skin. So the people that are on the press release have chosen a few different words. I see glory, grace possibility riz and strength i see wisdom let's go with wisdom in my skin because of the old fine lines and wrinkles although I, my botox has definitely worn off or wearing off it's been about three to four months but i'm still really happy with like any fine lines and wrinkles i, I bet that is actually the and begin serum that i've been using every single night this is one of my favorite brushes for applying foundation with. Love this brush. Also love vitamin enriched face base. It smells amazing. It's just a good old classic. And then these new weightless skin foundations with SPF 15. I think of the three shades they've sent me, this is probably going to be the closest to my skin tone. This one is in number 30 neutral sand let's just do a little swatch on the back of my hand I, I feel like i'll have a good idea i'm a little bit tanned from holiday still but yeah that is definitely i wouldn't want to go any darker than that for my skin i know that looks quite light on my um yeah perfect looks quite light on the back of my hand but that's just purely a bit of holiday tan left over. Ooh, I'll have to give this a whirl and try it out. Anyway, let's head downstairs and wait for Mr. Ricardo delivery man. Oh, why am I so excited to get a food shop? I've got quite a few M&S bits. That's probably why. <laughs> Love an M&S food trip. That's what I'm thinking for lunch on Saturday with the girls. Make a couple of salads, otherwise, some picky bits from MS, you can't go wrong. I'm just gonna unpack everything so that I can do a bit of a haul. But I think I'm right in saying he was just saying if you uh please return me to your driver for recycling. Yes, yeah, so basically you kind I think you get rewarded somehow. So what I'm gonna do is save up all of these bags. This one's a bit broken, but obviously it's had some heavy diet cokes in. But I'm gonna save these bags so that if I do another order again, then yeah, these will all be good to give back to the driver. Right, here we have my entire order. Also, got a free little gift, a Ocado wooden spoon. So let's start over this section with the kind of like cupboard bits. How nice do these pitta chips sound? I love pitta chips. And you rarely see them in stores. So rosemary and thyme flavoured sounds amazing, but also black pepper, sea salt and olive oil. These are perfect for just popping out for if we're hosting barbecues. Always like to have crisps out, of which I've got these ones as well. The lightly salted kettle chips. Sorry about that. <laughs> are you quite finished? Thank you. Anyway, back to it. I've also got a cake. Usually I like to bake something and I might actually do a banana bread because I do have a couple of bananas that need eating. But I thought for this occasion to have a nice like little Victoria sponge. Oh, that's a cupboard essential. We've got some bleach for the washing. Um, yeah, so I love pita chips for like hummus, dips, all sorts. If you know, you know, with these ones. The Outrageously Chocolatey Custard Creams, insane. Also got some, guys look, they have Dalesford. 
on Ocado. So I've got some goji berries for my breakfast that I've been having yogurt with. Um, and I also got some banana chips as well to sprinkle on top. I got the yogurt coated ones because to me, these are like an actual treat. Fully loaded millionaire's brownie bites, again, for just some chocolatey bits. We've obviously got a cake there, but then we've also got something chocolatey if we prefer. These cookie dough brownie bites, insane. I also got some pistachios to go in the cupboard, but also I think I'm gonna do a salad where I'll use these. These as well, they're sourdough baguettes that you cook from frozen in 15 minutes amazing but they're also frozen so they're good for ages some egg fried rice and popcorn we always love adding popcorn to our little movie nights also i'm going to throw this in the freezer for like what i would like to call a girl dinner if i'm feeling a bit of a, a, a naughty treat night if tom's not here because he wouldn't eat this a mushroom spinach creamy garlic um, also got these for the cupboard, just these chickpea puff snacks, salt and vinegar flavour, 63 calories per bag. Some strawberries for breakfast, but also I'm thinking of throwing in some strawberries for in some of the salads that I make this weekend. Same with the watermelon. Guys, how nice does this sound? Chicken Caesar dip. I look, uh, <laughs> yeah, speechless. This is the yogurt that I like to have for my breakfasts. The feta within the feta salad and some cucumber as well. We've got some salted British butter, some mozzarella. I quite like the mixed cheddar and mozzarella so you get that cheddar flavour but they're super stringy especially if we're doing like toasties. Hummus as well. We've got some Dalesford organic hummus. Some milk as well from Dalesford, just whole milk. We get whole milk now because apparently it's a lot better for you than semi-skimmed or skimmed so yeah we're sticking with the organic whole milk mozzarella minis again for salad got two of those oh love this stuff it's hits you but insane also went for some of these little pork cocktail sausages again to have at the weekend again more salad options whoa look at the size of that tomato some rocket carrots melon again for salad bits um cucumber some little cocktail sausage rolls again for picky bits King prawn skewers, these are all like ready to eat. The, um, this one as well. In fact, is that ready to eat? No, that's not, that needs to be cooked. So we have that on a barbecue one night. Prosciutto for a salad option. Smoked salmon, zero sugar, seven up. And diet, coke, caffeine, free. Yeah, I've just had a um, an email from Ocado to say, here are the updates from your driver, however many bags. So he said that he actually had one carry bag left over from the 7up so that he was able to put that on the system. So 10p for each bag returned. So obviously on this first occasion, it was just the one. So then the, they show you the original total order and then the new total order minus the deduction from those 10p bags and you get them back. So yeah, well worth knowing if you do shop a cardo is to save those bags for next time you order and next time you get a delivery, give them to the, the driver and you get some money off your order. But anyway, I feel like I'm gonna head out now to the shops, I'm starving. It's like midday and I've had that big food delivery, but it's all for, to, for me to prep tomorrow for Saturday. <laughs> I'm like, I've got no food in. <laughs> got nothing for lunch. So I think I might have a trip to, uh, if I take Barney, I could go to John Lewis, maybe grab something from there, because there's a little cafe there. Come closer, dance for me. Easy tiger, easy, let your hair down. Come closer. We have secured the goods. We've got cushions in the back from John Lewis. The only thing is, they only had three of them left in the, in the clearance. So I had a quick look online and they don't have any online either. So she couldn't check. <laughs> but I've got three. We've got eight chairs in total. Um, so I'm thinking if I find a fourth, I could have it on every other chair or I could have a couple of chairs with no cushions or separate cushions and then get three 
of a different kind of similar style. Oh, what sort of is that this till like with these two ladies who are being super helpful helping me out? This other woman walked past me and went, oh, like I'm not even exaggerating. She went, oh, I can't bear dogs. <laughs> I didn't really say anything. He was just sat next to me, not bothering her, nowhere near her. Oh, can't bear dogs. Like look disgusted. And um, the lady, another lady that served her, just served her in silence. And as she walked off, I said, I ought to have said the same back to her. And <laughs> these other two women went, I definitely would have said something. Oh, can't bear grumpy old women. <laughs> Why would you say that? John Lewis is dog friendly. It's not like he was bothering her. I know I'm, I know I'm a particularly dog lover. I get that. But he wasn't bothering her, he wasn't drooling, he wasn't even panting, he was just sat next to me. Oh, can't bear dogs. Yeah, didn't like that. But anyway, finally was as good as gold. But anyway, I've got myself an iced cappuccino from Cappuccino. <laughs> from Costa. From Cappuccino. From Costa. I think what I'll do is I'll pick you guys back up tomorrow when the chairs arrive from John Lewis so I can show you them styled up with those cushions and show you some bits that I prep for my little weekend girls lunch. We have taken delivery. Unfortunately, we had a casualty of one of the chairs en route in delivery. So they will be sending a replacement, but for now we have our chairs, as you can tell from John Lewis. Nice gorgeous finish i love this wood it's just like a really nice rustic quite light wash it's not too like orangey it's not too gray it's perfect and it kind of matches these match or they're similar to our bar stools in the kitchen so that we got from ochre these ones are john lewis though but yeah really really nice um i am going to pop them on the table but i've just been cleaning the uh patio and i need to wipe down the table also just staying out of the builder's way for now because he is in building up the wall for the outdoor kitchen. We've just moved the Gosney here for now. And then we have had delivery. Oh, another thing as well to update you on is I got these straps from Amazon. If you've got a hammock, um, I'll link these on my storefront so that if you do ever want to get hold of them, these are just a much more natural kind of color. The, the ones that we had before were like bright lime green and just not a vibe. So we've got one attached there the other one on that tree and then the hammock just hangs in the middle we'll get that out later and then yeah we've had delivery of the uh chairs from Roman and Ren so we need to give that a bit of a clean out but really like this cute little fire pit area obviously we won't use the fire pit as a fire pit until we have had the landscaper come to like trim back the trees and stuff obviously it's a bit hazardous having it there but this little area this nook which didn't really have uh, a purpose now I think does so yeah I think that fits really nicely there that fire pit much better than if we were to have it over in that corner I need to take off the cover the hammock's actually under there so I'll pop the hammock out as well these are the black ones they come in gray and like a natural wood color but I think for this area with the fire pit I didn't want the gray and I didn't want the natural wood because I thought it might uh, clash with the wood of the fence panels so I think the black works perfectly in this little corner and then for these chairs I did go for a couple of cushions which for now I've just popped here until I've sorted the dining table out and then we've just got our little bistro set down here too I'm not sure whether or not to get seat pads for these chairs. I, I think I quite like them without, personally. I've been on Pinterest and found a couple of salads which I want to recreate, and I thought I would screenshot them. Pinterest is honestly your best friend for stuff like this. So I'm gonna start with a rocket watermelon cucumber feta strawberry pistachio salad. And then also I'm gonna do some little melon balls, mozzarella balls, with tomatoes and mint from the garden. And these are the little mini mozzarella balls that you can buy. And then I just got some multicolored tomatoes and this, is this cantaloupe melon? Oh no, honeydew. I think cantaloupe, cantaloupe is the yellow one, isn't it? And I'm trying to use this to create the balls. They're quite big compared to the ones on here, but I don't have anything small enough 
that will create balls like that. Maybe a teaspoon, I'm not sure, but we're gonna go with big ones for now, big balls. And also, I absolutely love prosciutto ham, so there's a little bit of that thrown in there as well, just kind of torn up with the um, garden mint, and yeah. They're the two little salads that I'm gonna do. And then when we've been having friends and family over, I've been saying, take as many herbs as you like. So I'm just gonna bring some brown paper up from downstairs that they can just wrap up whatever uh, herbs they want to take home. Now, as expected, it did rain last night, so it is a little bit damp out here, but once we, it's already starting to get a lot brighter, so we'll take that cover off and be able to sit out there later. But for now, I'm on the hunt for some garden mint for one of the salads that I'm gonna do. So I think we're just gonna go with the standard mint. I know I've got a couple of varieties, but this one will do. I was always told to harvest it. A few leaves up so once there's a few leaves up where it forks see how this one forks into two if you trim it just above that then you can use these leaves and then this will branch into two further uh, stems so yeah that's just how I harvest it but again I'm learning so correct me if I'm wrong but that's just what I saw on TikTok sprigs of mint for the salad i could also get some rosemary for in some water maybe i really like rosemary especially in juice and i have some fresh apple juice actually so that could be a nice little refresher there we have it just creating some space in the fridge to pop these salads for now and then that's the other one and then i also have all the kind of like more picky bits up here we've got some um, prawns dip, oh I showed you all of these anyway, I've got also some of this from Sainsbury's Pesto and Parmesan and Pasta, which I'll, in fact I'll pop those in a bowl. So I'll get everything else out once the girls are here. Who remembers these beauties from my recent charity shop video where I went to the big ox farm in Manchester, the new superstores. These are Zara Home originally and this is exactly what I was meaning when I was saying these will be great for kind of like outdoor hosting just to house like everything to take to the table. We've got all of our cutlery. This is actually a new cutlery I've got from Amazon and it's like a kind of antique to finish. Got cake cutter which I need to actually, I'm going to pop the cake on a cake stand. I always do that. Even if you buy a boxed one, just throw it on a cake stand and it instantly looks better. Our plates, napkins, this little um, napkin holder, which is good for outside because it's got this little weighted heart on so they don't blow everywhere. Some placemats from the White Company. These um, tea towels are from m and And then a couple of little servers, salad servers and spoons. Oh, I've just seen Tom's back from his run. That's why Barney's just ran out there. Um, set out the chairs, which as you can see there are lined up, ready to be set out. I think it's now time to get myself ready, because as you can tell, still in my PJs. As always, love to light a candle to make the house smell amazing. This isn't just for guests, this is for me and Tom as well, a daily occurrence for me. Even in summer, lighting a candle, it just sets the vibe. This is the Neon Scent to Distress. I've got the oil as well, just over there and another candle so i'm going to pop the oil in the diffuser by the front door as well um but yeah it smells amazing probably a better suited scent to like in a bathroom or a bedroom it's lavender jasmine and sandalwood but i mean it's still nice enough to have downstairs as well obviously neon candles are just some of my favorites So here we have it guys. This is the table and chairs that we have in our garden. Um, I am just gonna give the table a quick wipe clean before I bring the bits down. We'll try and leave everything I can linked. Um, ochre table, 
Cushions are John Lewis as well. I could only get three, but they've ordered another five for me to be delivered shortly. So um, I'm going to have one on each chair. I did think about just having a few, but they are comfier, I think, with a cushion. And I think if every chair has a cushion, then it will look nice and complete. I've just popped the hammock out as well. The lounge area over in that corner. And soon to be our kitchen area. That is how our garden it's currently looking, I'm so, so happy. This is what I'm wearing. I've just thrown on this dress, this linen dress from Primark. Just curled my hair, but I haven't properly brushed them out yet. But yeah, dress from Primark. Just barefoot at the minute. I have got my little Haviana flip-flops that I keep throwing on to go in and out the garden. Barney's just surveying his territory there. Otherwise, we're gonna get some tunes on. I think we're gonna put Sabrina on, seeing as though this is my group of friends that we've all booked Sabrina tickets in March. Excited to have a nice little girls lunch. Oh, and look at that. Right on time, the sun's come out. Are you giving some herbs? I know, I forgot. I realised that when they were leaving. I forgot to do the herbs. Plus, we didn't really sit outside that much because it ended up being a little bit chilly. Had a lovely afternoon, still got some sweet treat. All full up from lunch. We only managed a little slither of the cake and some, in fact, we demolished these. These M&S brownie bites are so yum. Have you had one? Good up. Uh, you've had a what? About five. So maybe we didn't demolish them, maybe you have. I think I've decided these ones were my favorite, yeah, this colored one. I think they're the millionaire shortbread one, but yeah, so, so yum. I think I'm gonna just make myself a coffee and what's going on over here? What are we making? Like a base for, I've got some stock left over and some passata. Is that passata for the pizzas? Just tomatoes. Make a nice little tomato sauce for some weekday meals. And what's in here? Steak for tonight. Tom's also been to the butchers and brought back a bone for Barney. So he is there munching away. <laughs> Honestly, a bone just keeps them so occupied. The only thing is, I feel like I need to go out all the time to check on him. There's just something about leaving him unoccupied with a bone that I just don't like doing. So, but I also don't like having him having it inside. In fact, I might go and sit in the garden for a bit. I might put on some shorts so that I can get a bit of a colour on my legs even though it's a little bit chilly whilst the sun's out I've got to take advantage it is five o'clock yeah we're just gonna have a lovely rest of our evening we've just got the Olympics on in the background we finished last night a series called presumed innocent which I've talked about I can't remember if I talked about it in this video or not but best series I've seen in a long time the twist at the end, I nearly predicted. I had some wild theories. Pretty much went through everyone saying, oh, maybe it could be him. I bet it's her. Oh, it's definitely her. No, it's gonna be him. But yeah, if you like that kind of twisty, turny, unpredictable thriller, keeps you guessing until the very last episode. I think there were eight episodes on Apple TV. Well worth a watch. Any other good series like that that you've watched recently let me know i also really want to watch there's a couple of films out in the cinema there's long legs which is horror i think that's called long legs we're definitely not going to watch that in the cinema but we'll wait till that one comes out to watch that one uh it ends with us obviously blake lively we're also going to book in or we've booked in a date to meet up next for a hike if any other girl groups out there if you can relate to this we find the best because life just happens, things gets in the way and four people's schedules as full-blown adults is quite hard to organise and um, so we meet up and then we just get a date in the diary for our next meet up so that it's in, we can decide nearer the time, we have a rough idea of what we're doing so usually it's like, or well, the last few times it's been me hosting and I suggest that this time let's go for a hike, hopefully the weather will be nice and we can get in a bit of an exercise and yeah so we're going to do that maybe have a lunch afterwards we're going to do that in about a month's time we like to meet up i'd say every month um or at least try to and yeah that's the best way to keep organized but yeah tom's just gone to pick up some herbs from the garden i forgot to say to everyone to help themselves 
busy we're saying the cosmos probably won't last another season even though it's thriving now I expect that that just is the way it is but also the lavender to cut back she said where it gets woody where it looks like it's dry to just hack it back don't be afraid to hack it back because then it'll all come back luscious and green yeah i said this do you think that about some of the herbs maybe i'll ask her but um yeah she was saying you need to just it's it's about time now to trim it back and i'm like what it seems to be thriving the bees are loving it but she said deadhead the ones that are looking a bit crispy and dead and then yeah when you take it back to take it all the way back to that woody part so that it can all come because she said otherwise if you leave it it gets more of that like woody color that dead looking color and then it grows green from there so you'll have all the bottom part looking quite dead um there's a cobweb in here behind me spiders got in somehow and yet yeah, we need to deadhead the other flowers in fact i actually think those other flowers might not survive so maybe we'll just plant some more lavender it seems to be it seems to do really well there and then we can just do a seasonal plant for cosmos every spring summer just get a nice new flower because we need to do something on the front as well don't we we were talking to a gardener about um who does a bit of landscaping as well about what to do at the front because we've got an area where there's some soil at the minute it's just covered in weeds so he's going to come back and maintain that for us and um and keep all the leaves off mow the lawn um, do all that for us but he was talking about what to plant at the front and I said I just quite like white bright he said hydrangeas would look really good there obviously when they're out nice bright white hydrangeas I think we're just gonna have a nice relaxed afternoon are you playing cricket tomorrow yeah. at home no, Norden. Norden how far is that from here is that Liverpool way minutes, Rochdale. Rochdale okay it's meant to be all right weather tomorrow as well and so apparently steaks on the agenda we've got some leftover salad from lunch we've got some cake and yeah have a nice chilled evening so i think i might Ooh, nice might close off the vlog here today i hope you guys have enjoyed it thumbs up if you have subscribe for more and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys